Hey guys, Smoking Fireman here. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video on. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically do a review on the Hector Weeb style pipes, and I have two currently. I have two um, bases or, or platforms, I guess, with four different bowls. This is the one I'm currently smoking right now. This is the small bent with the chimney. That's what they call it. And I am smoking some, oh, a little bit of a glare, Quiet Nights. Um, so as far as the Hector Weed pipes go, um, I hadn't even really heard a whole lot about any of the Hector Weeb stuff until I started watching a few videos. I actually ran across a video that Jeremy Larson did um, a few years back. And um, he was talking about the Hector Weeb pipes and stuff like that and I decided to look into it myself. Well, I actually the first Hector Weed pipe I got was just here recently, within a couple weeks probably, um, two or three weeks maybe. I did a trade and a purchase from Forgiven Piper, Shelby. Um, I went ahead and bought the uh, Hector Weed blackout pipe off of him. And I mean, I, you know, I, like I said, I'd never even heard of them before and I decided to give them a shot. And I didn't really think, honestly, I would like it too, too much. I'd always thought about buying one, but I wasn't 100% sure. So once I bought this one off Shelby, I really, really enjoyed it. So I decided to pick up a couple extra bowls for it. And I decided to pick up a new frame and everything else. So I now have two Hector Weed pipes and four bowls. And I'm going to have to say that this is very very surprising because it takes a lot to kind of convince me or steer me the other way I'm so used to smoking Boswell pipes these Hector weed pipes are amazing um, so basically what they are if anybody don't know which I would assume everybody pretty much everybody would know is the bowl it will unscrew from the base your moisture collects down in here in the bottom and basically all you do is when you're done is you unscrew the bowl, clean out the bowl, and then of course you don't want to dump it over while you still have it attached. You want to take it off and then dump the, the moisture out of the aluminum and then clean it out, run hot water through it and dry it out with a pipe cleaner. Then your bowl you would just clean out like you do any other bowl on any other standard pipe. And um, I tell you what, it produces a really, really dry smoke. There's no gurgling or anything in them. And like I said, I'm very, very pleased. Um, I just made a video actually it's a video response to um, I forget his name now but anyway nonetheless I made a video for my favorite pipes and basically this has became my favorite pipe which we all know that that changes quite frequently but I actually have the blackout pipe that I bought off of Shelby, and it came with the, ever, like I said, everything was blacked out, the chimney, the bowl, the, the stem, everything. Everything was blacked out. So I went online to tobaccopipes.com, and there's another guy that makes bowls for these, and his name is Brandon Brooks. I'm pretty sure that's what his name is, but anyway, the chimney bowls are like $150 a piece on there. They're kind of expensive, but I thought it was really, really cool. Being a fireman, um, so if you want to check that out, check that out in my previous video. It's a VR, um, and it has like the flames and stuff that go up the side of the bowl when the bowl's blacked out. It's really, really cool, and it's a really, really great fit for that pipe, and it gives it a very unique look. So I kind of wish they made uh, corn cob bowls for these things. That would be kind of interesting, but um, like I said, nonetheless, I... I'm very excited that I got a, got one of the Hector Weed pipes. I had been debating for a long time and kind of doubting myself on it because, I mean, they are a little on the expensive side. I mean, they're not horrible. The frames are like 80 bucks, and 
the bowls are like 75, 60 to 75 or 80 or something like that. And that's for the Hector Weed bowls themselves. Now, like I said, if you go with the Brandon Brooks or whatever, those bowls are a little more expensive, but there's a lot more work and detail into them compared to the regular ones that Hector Weeb has. So, and they're well worth $150 in my opinion. They're very well made. They're made out of briar. So, and then I also wanted to talk a little bit about the Quiet Nights. Um, this is actually my first time smoking Quiet Nights. And I am actually very, very pleased with the blend. Um, trying to explore and try some new blends and stuff like that. And in my opinion, the Quiet Nights is a very, very good comparison. I would have to say it's a mix between Boswell's Northwoods and Penzance. It's like right up there with those. And I'd heard a lot of good things about it, so I decided to get a few tins and try it out myself. Also, I did a order the other day from smokingpipes.com. That's like my number one go-to place for smoking pipes and stuff like that. And I mean, they don't sell the Hector Weed pipes. The only place that I've seen as far as like a tobacco retailer that sells them is tobaccopipes.com. Smoking pipes don't carry them. But um, I hopped on there and did a few orders and stuff like that. I made an order from Boswell's there uh, earlier tonight. So I got a couple goodies coming in the mail there. And I was on there shopping around and stuff like that. And I knew that the um, new HH Burley Flake was coming out. And I decided to go ahead and pick up a few tins, which a few tins is like 10 for me, 12. I think I picked up 12 or something like that. You could only do like 10 per day was the limit on them. Also picked up some Dunhill Flake and Dunhill Dark Flake. But anyway, I have picked up 10 tins of, or 10 or 12, I can't remember, of the Burley Flake. And this is the 3.5 ounce tins. So I'm pretty excited to try that out. I know a few people have posted a couple videos about it. Um, I know Oldberg, he posted a video about um, the Burley Flake. I think Real McCoy Piper did too. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about it, maybe check out their videos and and you know what they have to say about it and stuff because I haven't even tried it out. I haven't even cracked a tin of it yet. So, but uh, nonetheless, I really wanted to hop on here and talk and brag up these Hector weed pipes. Like I said, it's amazing when you sit back and look at something and you're like, ah, well, I don't think I'd really like that. And then once you actually get it, it becomes your favorite pipe within a couple of days. It's pretty crazy. Um, not that I don't like my Boswells, don't get me wrong. I still smoke those on a regular basis, just like I, I'm going to continue to smoke these Hector Weeds on a regular basis. Like I said, if you guys like a super, I wouldn't say super, but a dry smoke, you know what I mean, where you don't get a bunch of gurgling and stuff like that, I would highly recommend looking into the Hector Weed pipes. So, well, that's all I have for tonight, guys. I am going to hop off here and get rain and go to bed. I actually have tomorrow off, so I may make another video. <clears throat> I'm going to try to enjoy my time off. Um, I'm getting ready to... I think I, I go back... I was off yesterday, today, and then I'm off tomorrow. I go back Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm on vacation for two and a half weeks. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to be going to Florida and spending time with the family down there at Disney. So... I'm going to try to shoot a few videos while I'm down there as well. And I'm going to search around the Orlando area and I'm going to see if I can't find any local tobacconists and stuff like that. A lot of people have told me they used to have a tobacconist at Disney a long, long time ago, which I don't think it's there anymore. But I know they do have like a cigar shop at Disney Springs. I remember that from two years ago when we were down there. So may look into those places and do some filming and stuff like that just to show you guys around maybe some of the places um, I know two years ago when I was down there I did go to a cigar shop I forget what the name of it is right off the top of my head but it was a pretty decent cigar shop and hopefully this time I'm gonna try to find some brick and mortars and maybe instead of cigar shops so 
Well, this is all I have for tonight, guys. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.